everybody. Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days and five minutes. And coming up tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show, we have a major storm impacting the entire eastern half of the United States. Uh, the big story for tonight will be the potential for a widespread severe weather out, uh, severe weather outbreak and elevated tornado risk uh, for a very large portion of the east. We've got heavy rain and heavy snow to deal with too, so we'll talk about that tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. We're on a regular time tonight. So as of uh, 8 a.m. this morning, we have winter storm warnings up for uh, much of uh, eastern Wisconsin and the upper peninsula of Michigan. Winter storm watches are up for uh, upstate New York. That includes the Catskills as well as the Adirondacks and interior New England uh, for a good chunk of Vermont and New Hampshire and Maine. And there might be additional winter storm watches and probably going to see winter storm warnings go up later today or tonight. Flood watches uh, up from southwest Pennsylvania down to West Virginia and then westward across Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois. This is going to be a uh, area where severe weather is going to be the focus today. Uh, we're going to check out uh, SPC. Now this forecast, and we have, by the way, working tornado watches this morning. So if you are impacted by severe weather, please be advised to check your local National Weather Service forecast office during the day for all the latest weather information, since obviously what you're seeing here is going to be dated, if, especially if you're watching it later today. A moderate risk of severe weather is indicated for much of uh, southern Ohio and northern Kentucky and southeast Indiana, a very large area of enhanced risk that extends all the way down into northwest, northeast Mississippi, northern Alabama, and northwest Georgia. The slight risk surrounds that. And the marginal risk even gets into southern New Jersey, uh, Delaware, and Maryland, and then northwestward from there into west central Pennsylvania and southward into eastern Virginia and then down the east coast. And this comes, by the way, with a 15% tornado risk. Uh, and you don't see 15% too often. Uh, but we have it there in that moderate risk zone. Also, this is going to, uh, the, the probability that there could be an EF2 to an EF5 tornado uh, in that hatched area that you see, anywhere in the 10 to 15% risk area for tornadoes, uh, the uh, Storm Prediction Center indicating that there is an elevated risk for EF2 to EF5 uh, strength tornadoes. So uh, this is something that's going to be. Um, big deal later today. Now, uh, as far as tomorrow is concerned, slight uh, marginal risk to central New Jersey uh, into Maryland. We have a slight risk for the southern part of Delaware and the rest of the Delmarva Peninsula, eastern Virginia and eastern North Carolina. Also, in uh, northern and central Florida, we go from a marginal to a slight risk back to a marginal risk uh, for that state. Uh, so another big severe weather day. And as we move on to day three, and this is Thursday into Friday, uh, finally the severe weather risk is going to be gone. So that is a big plus. just want to check out the satellite loop this morning, and you can see the uh, clouds are streaming eastward. We've been getting, we had an area of rain that moved through yesterday. We've got another area that's moving through this morning. Then there'll probably be a very short break in some places before we get into a steadier, heavier rain for eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England later tonight, Wednesday and Wednesday night. And of course, you're seeing blow-ups of thunderstorms already uh, during the morning hours through southern Indiana and now moving into Kentucky and just about getting ready to head into Ohio. You see the radar's pretty busy. We've got a numerous severe thunderstorm warnings, some flash flood warnings that were issued earlier, numerous severe thunderstorm warnings in uh, southern Indiana and in northwestern Kentucky. A squall line looks like it's developing. Again, this radar is as of uh, shortly before 8 a.m. Eastern time. Rain has moved into to New Jersey to about western Long Island, back into eastern Pennsylvania. There's some patches of heavy rain in here. So all of this is going to have to play itself through over time. Uh, we have some snow on the northwest corner of this coming into Wisconsin, uh, and that's going to expand as we go through uh, the rest of today. And into tonight. WPC, and this is the seven day rainfall liquid precip forecast. 
uh, noting uh, two to maybe as much as three inches across Pennsylvania through New Jersey into southern New England, uh, an inch and a half to two inches plus of liquid in upstate New York and interior New England, which of course is going to translate into snow, lesser amounts of three quarters of an inch to some spotty inch and a half amounts down the Appalachians into uh, northern portions of uh, Georgia and Alabama. In the west, we have um, from another system coming into the northwest uh, over the next several days, uh, producing heavy precip in the northern Rockies, not so much along the west coast, but still uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half of liquid up and down the west coast all the way uh, into southern California. And for snow, here is the probability for at least four. And you see it's very high across Wisconsin. There are going to be some one foot plus amounts, especially in mountain area, in the mountains in upstate New York and on up into New England. But you know, you see elevated areas of uh, a high probability for at least four from the Catskills to the Adirondacks north and east. And if we take a shot here and just take a look at the probability for at least 12, uh, you see it's pretty high in northeastern New York as well as in eastern parts of New Hampshire and western parts of Maine. So this is a very strong spring storm, no doubt about it. And you'll watch this play through today. This is the GFS with the surface map and its re representation of the radar. Uh, rain into this afternoon across uh, eastern Pennsylvania to southern New York, east into southern New England. That area starts to slide eastward. In the meantime, you see uh, the low in Illinois with a line of thunderstorms down at the Gulf Coast. GFS does not often pick up well on, on um, severe thunderstorms, but when you see these blotchy areas of yellow and red, it kind of tells you that there's going to be convection here. Heavy snow in Wisconsin, more rain uh, uh, for this evening and tonight. Uh, you see some gaps in there. And then as we move on into Wednesday, this is when we get the bulk of the rain uh, for uh, eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England. The rain changes to snow up in upstate New York and to northern New England later Wednesday, Wednesday night into Thursday. The low is going to reform uh, uh, in over Chesapeake Bay, then it's off the New Jersey coast by the time we get to Thursday morning. Uh, and you might even see some wet snow mixing in as far south as the Hudson Valley north of Route 84. I don't think it'll be anything more to worry about as far as accumulations are concerned, but uh, some wet snow could come into the mix. On Thursday, we're going to start to have to deal with the upper low. The surface low will be gone, so the main area of precips shifts north and northeast. But the cold, unstable air aloft is likely to trigger off some showers during the day Thursday. I think they'll be scattered in nature. Uh, it'll be a lot of leftover clouds around. We'll probably see some showers a Thursday night and Friday morning in a few places. Friday looks like a slightly better day. Yes, there will be some instability, and yes, there will be some showers of rain or snow inland, but maybe the coast gets away with not seeing much of anything out of this. And then as we move on into Saturday, even though we've got low, uh, we, we would generally see more improvement, but we still have that low offshore and the upper air feature to deal with. So there still might be a little bit of instability showers, particularly in southern and southeastern New England and even back over into parts of the interior of New Jersey and upstate New York. I would think that much of the time it won't be doing anything, but the risk is there that there could still be some scattered showers on Saturday. Finally, some improving weather conditions for Sunday, <clears throat> and with high pressure up and down the East Coast, we'll keep our fingers crossed that clouds don't get in the way for the eclipse on Monday. There is a system coming out of the plains, a weak one that's heading into the Great Lakes, and we'll have to see how uh, if there's enough dry air to keep skies clear or at least basically clear uh, through areas of the Northeast. That may not be the case, though, around the Great Lakes and back over into parts of Ohio and points south. So we're going to get into all of that tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast as far as the eclipse is concerned, as well as, of course, uh, going over everything that's happening with this uh, major storm system, spring storm system that is impacting the entire eastern half of the United States. So we'll see you tonight at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time.